Plus's story started with the North-South Expressway in the late 80s. The North-South Expressway spans 846 kilometers along Peninsula Malaysia, connecting major cities on the West Coast. The North-South Expressway has been a key factor in boosting our GDP over the past decade. It links our towns and cities and it connects us with Singapore and Thailand. This new accessibility encouraged an economic growth. New towns and cities created jobs and businesses and the standard of living improved. On average, North-South Expressway users save 36 cents in cost and 7.3 seconds in time for every kilometre they travel as compared to alternative routes. To provide comfort, safety and convenience, thorough maintenance work is done on a frequent basis and at a high running cost. In recent years, the government decided not to increase toll rates, resulting in it having to compensate PLUS. The government owes PLUS 2.9 billion ringgit in compensation, an amount accumulated since 2002. Last year, our Prime Minister announced a toll rate freeze until 2016 on four of PLUS's highways. In October 2010, UEM and EPF put in a joint bid to acquire PLUS and the acquisition was approved by PLUS's shareholders in February this year. Upon the completion of takeover, UEM will own 51% of PLUS and EPF 49%. Following the acquisition of PLUS, the scheduled increase from 2016 onwards will be reduced to 5% every three years instead of 10%. UEM and EPF have also been working with the government to revise the concession agreement. The negotiation has resulted in PLUS agreeing to waive the 2.9 billion compensation owed by the government. This move will ease the government's budget, allowing them to allocate more funds to important projects, which will benefit the rakyat. 12.8 million EPF contributors, or almost half of the Malaysian population, will also benefit from the returns generated from PLUS. For more interesting details, check out our infographics on pluschannel.com.my.